Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Martino and for my regular viewers, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to insert headers and footers in Google Sheets. So here's my simple worksheet. Now inserting, inserting headers and footers in your Google Sheets is not really available in the editing um, option, right? But it is available in the print mode option. So I will go into file. I'll select file and I'll scroll down here to and select print. It's at the bottom part of the page. Let me see if I could show you. Go to print or I could select print from the toolbar on top of here. I'm going to select the icon print. So you can see that and you see a preview of what the document will look like. At the moment, you will see there are no headers and no footers, right? So if you want to insert headers and footers to our document when it's being printed, right, we will go to the side here, you'll see headers and footers, headers and footers. So I'll click on the drop down arrow and we'll have more options. Let me scroll down so you can see what the options are. So we could click on page numbers, workbook, workbook title, sheet name, current date and current type so this is what um the set formats that we could put on the um as headers as footers now let's see apparently how it works the current time ago as a footer let's see if you click on so that was current date sorry current time goes as a footer let's see this has here the date and the time at the bottom here bottom left right as a footer the page numbers let's see goes as a footer as well to the bottom right and workbook titles at the top as a header up here and we have sheet name that is also well you know okay you can have more than one sheets within a work within a um within a workbook okay so that goes to the top so they protect the um in this case it tells you it does um it puts the headers and footers where it feels like, right? Um, you have no control in this particular point. But however, the only control that you have is to name, um, to change the names of the, the workbook title and maybe the sheet names. Let me show you how you could do that. So in the same area we have down here, we have edit custom fields. So I will click on that. And let's see, we don't really, we can't really move that. The most we could do is actually change the text in the box, but we can't really relocate them. So if I want to change this here, this is the workbook title, like maybe say, um, all right, I'll click on that and I'll click on confirm. And we could also add different information in this box here and then this box here, but we can't relocate them. Let me see, I can't relocate them, okay? So I'll click on confirm and what I just changed with this has changed here, right? But that's all you could do. You can't really relocate them and um, it's just what they have here. Um, they, you're allowed to put on your workbook sheet. You don't really have much control, but I mean, the options are still there. You could make it work for you. All right. So I thought I would share with you today how you could add headers and footers in your Google Sheets documents. The options are there but you basically are limited. So if you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up button, leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, um, leave a message for me in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.